In the previous video, we finished our sample application, but there is one more thing that we should cover in this course, and that is the router store library. The router store binds the Angular router to NGRX, so we can trace where we are in the application and add the route, the route parameters, and the query parameters to the state. For that, we are going to add a custom serializer. So here we are in the router store documentation, and if we scroll down, we can see that we have an option to create a custom router state serializer. And here it says that you provide a custom serializer for the snapshot to only return what you need. So this is the code that we need to add to our application. Let's copy the first part. And we are going to create a shared folder and a utils.ts file inside. And here we're going to paste the code. And we don't need the injectable declaration. So let's close the file. And the last thing we need to do is go to the app.module file and import from the router store the store router connecting module, the router reducer, and the router state serializer. Then we import the custom serializer we just created, we add the router reducer for the root of the application state, And we add the store router connecting module to the imports array using the for root method and passing in the router as the state key, as that's going to be the name of the slice of state for the router. And the last thing we have to do is add the router state serializer using the custom serializer to the provider's array. Let's save it and run the application. And now, if we inspect the store, we see the router being added to the state. So here, if we click somewhere, we can see that the router is in the state now and the actions are being dispatched. So that's it. I just wanted to add this quick video introducing the NGRX router store. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button if you like it, and share this course with any person that might be interested.